Hey everybody, I am Lauren, I'm Hot For Food, back with another recipe video for you today. And we are making a super awesome icy summer treat for your weekend parties and also the weekend party you probably have coming up for the 4th of July, woo! If you live in the United States, I don't yet, but I'm going to soon. Uh, and also Canada Day just passed. I'm sorry that the Wednesday I released videos didn't land uh, you know, before both, but you're still gonna be celebrating lots of things this summer and this is the perfect recipe for any celebration. We are making pie cookie ice cream sandwiches. What? How cool are these? They're little tiny pie cookies with the uh, sour cherry filling that we did for the uh, sour cherry Danish recipe and also the apple pie filling that I slightly modified from the Hot For Food cookbook to do two flavors of pie cookie ice cream sandwiches. Because what two things go together like so amazingly? Pie and ice cream. And then we put cookies in there too. <laughs> Okay, I was like getting confused because there's so many components to this recipe, but it's actually very easy to whip together and then you just need a freezer in which to store all of your pie cookie ice cream sandwiches. So here's how it's done. To make the sour cherry filling, you're gonna heat a saucepan over medium high heat with some sour cherries, granulated sugar, lemon zest, and lemon juice. Once the mixture starts to boil, turn the heat down and simmer for about eight to 10 minutes. Once it's slightly reduced like this, whisk in a cornstarch slurry and let the sauce thicken up for about another one to two minutes. Once it's done, the mixture should be glossy and thick. Now set this aside to cool at room temperature. To make the apple filling, you're gonna add apples to a saucepan over medium high heat, add some lemon juice, brown sugar, ground cinnamon, and freshly grated nutmeg, as well as some sea salt. Now once this starts to boil, turn the heat down and simmer for about eight to 10 minutes. Once it's slightly reduced, whisk in a cornstarch slurry and let the sauce thicken up for about another one to two minutes. Once it's done, the sauce will be a little thicker like this, and then you can set this aside to cool at room temperature as well. To make the pie cookies, you're gonna buy frozen pre-rolled puff pastry or pie crust, and you're gonna thaw it in the fridge overnight. Now unroll one pastry sheet onto a lightly floured surface and mark out every half inch across one side. You're gonna use a pizza slicer and a ruler to cut out even strips to make a lattice pattern. Then you can set the strips aside over the edge of a bowl. Lightly flour your work surface once again and lay out the second sheet of pastry. Add all of one of the fillings into the center. Now using an offset spatula, spread out the filling evenly onto the pastry, leaving about one quarter inch bare from the edges. Using the strips, make a lattice pattern by layering the strips on top of the filling about a half inch apart in an over under pattern. Trim any of the overhang if needed with a dough cutter and then fold the bare edges over to create a border around the lattice. Take a three inch round cookie cutter to cut out eight or nine cookies. Transfer the cookies onto a parchment lined baking sheet and then brush the lattice with some non-dairy milk and sprinkle demerara sugar on top of each cookie. You're gonna bake this in an oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 14 to 16 minutes until the dough is puffy and cooked through. Then transfer the pie cookies to a cooling rack and let them cool completely. To make the ice cream sandwich filling, remove the top of the ice cream pint. Use some sharp kitchen scissors to cut the side of the container. Remove the container gently to keep the ice cream intact. Now turn the ice cream on its side and use a large knife to slice the round of ice cream into half inch thick discs. And if you're looking for that hot for food perfection, Use a three inch round cookie cutter to punch out uniform ice cream rounds that are gonna fit really nicely on top of the pie cookies. 
Place each ice cream disc on a pie cookie and then top with another pie cookie to make the pie cookie ice cream sandwiches. And now, it's party time! Happy, happy, happy Canada Day or 4th of July! <laughs> okay, these pie cookie ice cream sandwiches are so legit and I think highly creative. Time to celebrate over here on the Hopper Food Channel. I hope you guys try these out. Now, um, you get about five what am I trying to say? Nine cookies out of the sheets, depending on what brand you have. So we ended up having an extra one cherry and one apple. So I did a hybrid, which you could do. You could do cherry on one side, apple on the other like this. And then I doubled up the ice cream because I had an extra ice cream disc. So this is a massive one just for me. So let's let this die out while I eat it. My teeth are so sensitive. Mmm. Also, this one's been setting up in the freezer. Obviously, working with ice cream is a pain in the ass. But the good thing is, is you can pre-make these as sandwiches and put them in the freezer. And then eat them pretty much right out of the freezer because the dough stays soft, delicious, tasty. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Now I'm a little bit of a, I like deconstructing. I mean, my teeth cannot go through all that ice cream. My teeth. <laughs> All right, I might want to let this one thaw just a little bit. Mmm. I think this is the cutest idea of all time. Of all time on the channel. Mmm. I'm gonna savor that in just a second. Now you're gonna want to look for pre-rolled vegan friendly puff pastry or pie crust. The thing is, is in the past I've used the puff pastry that we roll out, but in this case you need it to be quite thin and the pre-rolled is just kind of easier because it's already very, very thin. So if you can find that, there's a lot of like accidentally vegan brands at the grocery store, so just check the ingredients. If there's something like lard in it, not vegan friendly. But if it's just vegetable shortening or vegetable oils, you're good to go. If you're looking for more cookie recipes, I have a bunch on the blog and you can also check out what I made in a recent recipe video. They were these corn cookies that were so delicious. Be sure to subscribe to Hop for Food. I'm here every single Wednesday cooking up vegan love and keep watching the channel. I've got tons of recipes here. So if you're looking for more sweet summer treats, check out these things right here and keep on watching.